loves it's lucid simmer and welcome back to my channel i am so so excited for today's video this is the first episode of my lucid legacy challenge if you don't know what the lucid legacy challenge is it's actually a challenge for the sims 4 that i created it is a 10 generation legacy challenge. I actually made a whole video on my channel reading through the challenge and talking a little bit about each generation. So if you would like to check that out, I will link it in the description below. But for now, since of course we are starting with generation one, I am going to read you the overview for this generation. The title for this first gen is Farmer Family. The simple life is the life for you. Tending to your farm, nightly family dinners, and knowing everyone in your community, you're living the small town dream. You and your partner are best friends. Not only best friends, but almost the same person. You have the same goals in life and help each other achieve them. Working together to grow your garden and take care of your animals is only the beginning. Once you've started having children, something you've always dreamed of, your farm only expanded from there. Everyone in the house has their own jobs, whether that be cleaning, gardening, cooking, tending to animals, etc. You make money by selling your own products, and over time you become the biggest family-run farm in town. Although you love all of your children, as you get older, you realize there needs to be someone to pass your land on to. You've worked so hard on it your whole life after all. Out of all of your children, there seems to be a clear choice on who it should be. You live your last days preparing this child to run the farm once you pass and feel comfort in knowing they will continue your legacy. And the goals that we are going to complete for this challenge are have the family-oriented and loves outdoors traits, complete the country caretaker aspiration, max the gardening skill, must live on at least a 50 by 40 lot, start on only a portion of your lot, and then expand throughout your life until the entire lot is farmland. Have a partner with the same aspiration as you. Have at least three children with your partner. Win at least two town fair contests. Have the simple living lot challenge on your home lot and unlock the people person lifestyle. So if you didn't already see the speed cast that I posted for the founders of this generation, then I would like you to meet Silas Wild. And he is actually going to be our founder for this generation. I did already create his wife, whose name is Faye Wild, and I will show you guys her in just a second, but I actually asked you guys to vote on who you think the founder should be in my last video, and I will say it was pretty evenly split between Faye and Silas. I did also put polls on Instagram and Twitter, and on Instagram, Faye won the vote, and on Twitter, Silas won the vote, so it was pretty up in the air about who I was going to 
play as the founder, but there actually ended up being one comment that really stuck out to me and it said that Silas should be the founder because most challenges start with a female sim, which I am definitely guilty of this in the past. I always start my games off with female sims and they said that since this challenge is so different, it should have a different start to it. I really liked the logic behind that and when I was creating this challenge, I really just wanted it to be something that gets people out of their creative comfort zone, myself included. So that is why I am choosing Silas for our founder. And of course, we're going to be playing with both Faye and Silas, but when it comes to the goals for this generation, Silas is going to be the one that completes them. I do want to mention just a couple things before we get started. I want to thank you guys so, so much for over 1500 followers. I can't even believe that we've reached that number so quickly and I just am so grateful for each and every one of you. It's really been a crazy few weeks and I'm so excited to just keep working hard for you guys and putting out better and better content. When I uploaded my last video, the speedcast for The Wilds, I don't even think I was at a thousand subscribers yet. I think I was just under a thousand. So the fact that we're now at over 1500 is just mind blowing. And yeah, thank you so, so much. The other thing is thank you so much for being patient with me. This video was actually delayed by about a week because I have been sick and you might hear it in my voice. I hope not. I am mostly better at this point, but I honestly just didn't want to wait another day to film this video. I'm so, so excited for this gameplay. So with that being said, I think we should just get into it. So like I said, this is our founder, Silas Wild. I think he is such a cutie and I'm so excited to play with him for this challenge. And let's go ahead and show you guys Faye as well. So this is Faye Wild and this is Silas's wife. They are relatively new newlyweds because they're pretty young. They have been married for a little bit and this house that they're actually living at is actually her childhood home. So Faye and Silas inherited this house from Faye's parents who did pass away recently. They both passed away from old age and Faye was really close with her parents. They were really just loving people and they loved this little house of theirs and their chicken and cow which I will introduce you to in just a second but they actually inherited a pretty good piece of property so if you can see here this entire lot is theirs and as it said in the challenge we actually are going to expand this entire lot to be farmland. I am so, so excited to do that. I think that I did want to start off with some animals and a little garden, but it's obviously not very big. So they have some of their crops here and then a few chickens and a cow. But yeah, besides that, they have all of this room to expand and I'm just so excited for that. I'll give you guys a quick tour around the house before it gets too dark. So this is their house. By the way, all of the CC that I used in this house will be linked on a Tumblr post, which will be linked in the description of this video. And besides refurnishing, I actually didn't build this house. I did get it off the gallery, so I will also be putting the name and original creator of this house on the screen as well. But yeah, I think it's a really cute house. I think that it's such a good size to start out. Obviously, it's not super small by any means, but it's not like this huge house, especially once you see the inside of it. But taking you around the backyard first, if you come to the left side of the house, there's this little pond over here which they can go fishing at. There is a wash bucket and clothesline over here in the corner and a little picnic table with a picnic basket and I'm so excited for them to go on little romantic picnics together. Over here there is the back door that leads to the kitchen and around this side of the house are the animals. 
So in here, like I said, we have a cow already. She is a brown cow and her name is Maggie. I'm gonna have Faye call her out before she falls asleep. Oh, and there she is. I love cows in The Sim. I think she's so cute. Oh my God, so cute. Yeah, I love Maggie. What a absolute cutie. And over here, like I said, we do have a few chickens. So we have one rooster and two hens. Our rooster's name is Roger. And then for the hens, we have Poppy and Betty. And for future animals, um, I will have you guys help me out with names in the comments. We will be having a lot of animals on this lot in the future. And over here, like I mentioned, we have Silas's garden. So I only have the bigger crops right now. We have mushrooms, aubergine, pumpkins, and lettuce. Oh, something else I want to mention is these graves over here. So these graves are the parents of Faye. So it was their wishes to be buried on this lot and they were buried right under this big tree, which I think is really sweet to just have her parents there. Oh, this rain came on real quick. Wow. I guess it's fitting for the mood though. So here we have Atticus Greenwood and Henrietta Greenwood. Of course, Greenwood being Faye's original last name. So we have a few wedding pictures of Faye and Silas around the house. And I didn't actually have a wedding for them. I created them in Cass as being married and just started playing them like that. But I did want to have some pictures of their wedding around the house because I just thought it'd be sweet. And we also have some pictures of Atticus and Henrietta. Again, that is Faye's parents. So we have a little more current one of them here. And then this one is an older one of Atticus and Henrietta. I love having pictures of Faye's parents up in their house, especially because Faye and Silas are both family oriented. So I think that especially when they have children, they are definitely going to be filling their house with a lot of family pictures and stuff like that. But now on to a super quick house tour. As we go in the front door, there is a little entryway. If we go forward here, this door right to our right is a little bathroom. And there's not much in here. It's just a sink, mirror, and toilet. And then if you go straight, this is the kitchen. So to the right, we have a shelf with some clutter on it, as well as a plant, a waste basket, and then by the window here, we have the dining room table with some fresh fruit that I would like to think Silas grew himself. And then towards this back wall, we have the sink and a refrigerator. And then the door to the backyard, which I showed you guys before. And then on this side wall, there is the stove and then a shelf with some more clutter and things like that. This is actually a functional kitchen island but they have more than enough room here to cook and things like that. So I did put a little bread basket on it for now, which I might move in the future, but for now I like having this little <laughs> bread basket here and a broom, some hanging produce. And then this back room is the living room where we have a nice couch. I am so obsessed with this couch that came with Cottage Living. I think it's so cute and the swatches that it comes with are 10 out of 10. Of course, we have a little rocking chair. I put a violin in the corner, mainly because I just wanted some other activities. And we have a desk over here with a typewriter. There is very little technology in this house. Of course, you don't have to play this way, but in my mind for this generation, they're definitely a little more old school and don't really spend time watching TV and things like that. Speaking of no TV, their fireplace right here has no TV on it. Instead, it has the family pictures that I showed you before. And of course, we have a little hutch right here just filled with different books and knickknacks. And this door right off the living room is actually Faye and Silas's bedroom. So when you walk in, we have a little laundry hamper right there. Their bed right when you walk in. And this is the wedding picture that I showed you guys before. 
there is an art easel that is actually covered with a cloth over here and in my head since they did inherit this house from Faye's parents I imagined Faye's mom Henrietta being a painter and when she got older she just didn't paint as much so she covered her easel with a cloth. I might end up replacing this with a functional easel in the future, so maybe Faye or one of their kids can be a painter, but we'll see. And then over here is their dresser with some knickknacks and this really cool mirror, which I am obsessed with. There is just a narrow hallway upstairs, this first door on our left. I actually made this room into a nursery. Since, of course, Faye and Silas are newlyweds and they both want to have a really big family, I figured that they would right away convert this upstairs room into a nursery since I do plan on them having their first child relatively soon. And then going back out into the hallway, there is one more room up here. Oh, and I totally forgot that there is another wedding picture up here and they're just so cute it kills me so this door right here is the upstairs bathroom and yeah that is the whole house i'm not sure yet if i'm gonna put this house on the gallery so let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do so so it's really early right now it's like 4 a.m but he's really hungry and I guess being farmers, they would kind of get up early anyways. So I'm gonna have him go into the garden and start collecting things to make breakfast. Before that, we do need to weed the garden because it is not looking great over here. And since it is still early on, we don't actually have any veggies or anything to collect, but thanks to our trusty hens over here we do have some eggs to collect so let's get those and then we're gonna have Silas make some breakfast before Faye even wakes up which is honestly goals <laughs> all right we got two eggs from the chicken coop and let's see if that's enough to make breakfast I don't know if it will be okay so those two eggs actually weren't enough I mean they're enough for one serving but I feel like Silas would never just cook breakfast for himself and not Faye so I'm actually going to have Silas order some groceries for delivery but before I do that I just wanted to show you guys this really cute moodlet from the bed cuddling mod it says lovers comfort there's nothing quite like finding rest in the arms of the person you love after a busy day Silas feels invigorated and ready to challenge the world after a blissful slumber with the sim he cares for most and this just proves it that this is the cutest mod for the sims all right so i'm going to have him i think i'm only going to have him get some eggs to make breakfast only because i do want him and Faye to go out on the town uh later today to meet some people and get some more groceries and things like that so i am only going to be getting some eggs for now is and while we're raiding on the groceries, how incredible is their view? I mean, are you kidding me? Look at that sunrise over the horizon. Ah, uh, I am just so in love with Henford on Bagley. I think it's honestly one of the most beautiful worlds we have ever gotten in The Sims. Like, this countryside, are you kidding? Uh, it's just so, so beautiful. All right, and the groceries are here, so we're gonna go ahead and collect those. All right, so now that we have those eggs, we can make a bigger serving, and I'm gonna do a party size just so they have leftovers for the next few days. I honestly love watching Sims cook. I don't know why, it always, it's like how cartoon food always looks better than real food. Watching my Sims cook always just makes me so hungry. All right, and now that he's finishing up with breakfast, let's go ahead and get Faye up. Oh my God, she woke up at the exact perfect time. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, and the quality is excellent. Are you kidding? 
I am so impressed with Silas. I mean, I said that I wanted him to be like the cook of the family, but he is really living up to it. Sir, you were starving two seconds ago. Eat your breakfast. All right, and I already hear Maggie the cow mooing outside, so we are gonna have, I actually think we're gonna have Faye go out and take care of Maggie, only because I picture her as more of the animal person out of the two of them, and then I picture Silas as more of the gardening type of person. Oh my gosh, and poor Maggie is so dirty. Girl, what hap- what did you get into? And she's unhappy. All right, we need to show Maggie some love. Let's give her some pets and smother her with love. Because she deserves it. <laughs> and then while Faye is doing that, we're just going to have Silas spray the garden for bugs and weed the garden. Because things are not looking great over here <gasps> look at how happy she looks oh yeah. seriously the cows in the sims 4 are just so pure and i love them so much yeah. oh. oh my gosh yeah. stop she's so happy Like, not me getting emotional over a pixelated cow. <laughs> All right, and Maggie is now happy. I'm actually gonna have her milk Maggie really quick, and then I am going to have her feed the chickens. Once they're done with these chores, we are going to head into town to get some groceries and meet some people. Oh, and Faye has an animal bonding moodlet. It says, spending time with an animal really cheers up Faye. And that is so cute. Alright, quick side note, just before we get back into the gameplay, I was actually just playing on an old save file that I made and it turns out it was still corrupted from the high school year's expansion pack and it was making it very difficult for my sims to travel to different lots so instead of trying to figure it out i ended up just putting them in a brand new save with all of the base game lots and townies and everything and i do think that i picked a different season i think they were in summer before and now they're in spring besides that everything i think is the same thank god i noticed that before we got too far into gameplay yeah so sorry about that and hopefully knock on wood that that is the only hiccup that we have in the game. I'm gonna have Silas come over and buy some groceries. I love these little grocery stands that came with Cottage Living. I think they're so, so cute. All right, so not only do we need groceries to cook with uh, before we start growing all of our own food, but we also need food to plant in order to grow some stuff. So I'm kind of gonna get a little bit of everything just so we can start a good size garden. So I'm gonna get some basil, blackberries, blueberries, carrots, some cheese, cherries, some flour, grapes, green beans, green peas, huckleberries, lemons, some red mushrooms, onion, pear, potato, raspberries, sage, strawberry, sugar, some fish, and some meats. That is a lot, a lot of stuff. But like I said, the majority of this we are going to be planting in our garden, and that is a big part of this generation. So let's go ahead and get all of that over a thousand dollars worth of groceries that is a very expensive grocery trip all right so let's introduce ourselves to kim just while we're over here hold on 
<laughs> Kim does not like us. Kim's first impression about Silas is nature maniac. Ah, oh, one of these. Tree hugging, broccoli eating, peach walking. The sim that thinks it's their duty to criticize others' everyday life choices because they're less green than their own or less healthy, be that true or not. All right, Miss Kim, I feel like you're projecting a little bit because Silas is the nicest guy in the world and you need to chill out. Like, what? Poor thing, Silas's sentiment about Kim is fun to be around. <laughs> and she's over here hating on Silas, that is awful. All right, we're not gonna judge her too quickly because he does need to make a lot of friends around town. So let's offer to help with errands because I feel like that will kind of make us get on her good side, <laughs> at least I hope. I think I am gonna do the creature comforts errand only because the reward for this one is an animal treat, an upgrade part for an animal shed, a chance at new treat recipes and animal clothing and a grocery delivery coupon. And that sounds good to me. So we're gonna do that one. We need to deliver six white eggs to the grocery owner. Oh, that's so easy. We will literally be able to do that by tomorrow. And let's have Faye go to the garden shop. Hopefully Agnes Crumplebottom is nicer to Faye than Kim was to Silas. Mm, I think I'm gonna get some llama wool because I do want Faye to learn to cross-stitch. And let's get some Grow Fast fertilizer because I really, really wanna get our garden going. And what else? I wanna get a flower for either Faye or Silas to plant around the house. And I think let's do Bluebell only because those are actually my mom's favorite flowers. Okay, this is probably so stupid but i forgot to edit Faye's voice and Cass. and the more she talks the more it's kind of annoying me maybe that is like a petty thing but i i don't know it just sounds frustrating I, I just don't like it so i think i might change that really quick oh my gosh and the village mayor is here lavina so let's have silas introduce himself Let's do a respectful introduction, and I'm gonna have Faye introduce herself as well. Let's see, can we ask her about Henford on Bagley? I feel like you can. Have a Henford heart to heart, that is so cute. I feel like I haven't played with Cottage Living since it came out, and there's so many like cute interactions that you could do with this pack. Some people tried to bribe me at the Finchwick Fair. To them, I say, don't try it unless you can make it worth my while. I'm clearly joking. <laughs> Well, we will never have to bribe you at the fair because we will win fair and square. All right, is there anyone else we can meet while we're here? Oh, I'm gonna have, oh my gosh, she's pregnant. I am gonna have Faye introduce herself to Leora. And this is actually a family that I got off the gallery. So I will go ahead and put the creator of this family up on the screen now. And this specific family that I got off the gallery has a bunch of kids, and that is exactly what Faye and Silas envision their future to be like, just having this big, loving family, so ask to feel baby. Okay, that's a little weird. We, like, just met. <laughs> ask the baby's due date. That's nice. Yeah, I definitely wanted to get to know this family a little bit more. Well, I was gonna say I wanted to invite uh, their family over for dinner, but like I said, their family is pretty big and I don't think we have enough room uh, to host them, but maybe we can go over to their house sometime and hang out with the whole family. And in the meantime, Silas is in the bar. Oh, this is, I'm pretty sure, I think that this guy, Liam, is actually Leora's husband. 
So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to him as well. I don't think I've ever hung out in the upstairs part of this pub before, but it's actually kind of cozy. Oh, and I think we should actually go home now just because Faye is kind of irritated from being on her period and I do want to go get her some pads and tampons before her period actually starts so let's go ahead and go home oh did I speak too soon I did she literally just ordered a drink <laughs> Well, that'll help. I'm really just kind of trying to meet everyone that lives in this area. Because, like I said, for this generation, the founders are really just meant to know everyone in their community. So this is a great place to start. They're actually kind of vibing out, like meeting everyone. Okay, we definitely came back home just in time because Faye is very angry. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and order her some tampons. Oh my gosh, Silas is just too cute. Like, <laughs> why is he like the sweetest guy in the world? I cannot stand it. All right, so I do want to talk about their garden really quick. Obviously, as I mentioned, we need to expand their farm onto this entire lot. And I think I want to make the garden portion of their farm in this front right corner right here, since that's already where it is on their lot and it would be pretty easy to just expand out this way. And then we can plant some of the stuff that Silas got at the grocery stall. All right, so I just ended up expanding the garden to more of an L shape to fit some more crops for now and I did replace some of the fencing because it was debug and there was a gate here that they couldn't use and I just didn't want them to have to run around the house constantly. So this is the new garden setup and I'm gonna go ahead and have Faye and Silas plant all of their new produce that they got today. All right, so I did organize the garden by vegetables, and then we have some herbs, and then the fruit over here. And then over by the perimeter of the lot, I'm going to do the crops that grow into trees. I'm gonna have Silas just plant all of the new crops, and I am so, so excited for these to start growing. Oh my god. I love the chickens. The country life really is like so peaceful. I mean, look at this. I feel like it does not get more peaceful than this. Oh, right. Now that Faye is feeling a little bit better, we are going to tend to the animals and it looks like the chickens are all set. So I am going to call over Maggie and see what she needs. It looks like she is good on feed. All right, she is clean and full and content. So let's just go ahead and milk her for now. And we can just give her some love. Okay, and Silas is really getting through these plants. Such a baby, ugh, I love Maggie so much. I love when the cows like jump for joy. Oh my gosh. Let's actually have Faye plant her bluebell that she got. I'm gonna plant that. And since I got it because it's my mom's favorite flower, I'm gonna pretend like it was her mom's favorite flower. So she is planting this bluebell in honor of her mom who of course just passed away. And I think that that's going to be a really cute thing to pay homage to her mom. And then it's getting pretty late, so I'm going to have Faye cook dinner while Silas is finishing up with his planting. And she's just gonna make some mac and cheese for dinner. And let's see how Silas is doing out in the garden. 
All right, so he's almost done with all of these plants and oh, he planted one of the trees, <laughs> but not the other two. You need to pee so badly. Oh my gosh. All right, you know what? We can finish this later. You are literally gonna pee your pants. <laughs> and dinner is ready so i'm gonna wait until silas is inside and they can have a nice sit down little family dinner together Teru, and the cute couple you is sitting down for a little oh, yes. dinner and <laughs> faye is sweating oh my gosh for a second i forgot that i don't have wicked whims installed in my game anymore and I thought that that was something else, but it's just sweat, I promise. <laughs> this mac and cheese looks so bomb. If you didn't see my mod review video, this is a food texture mod that I have, and oh my god, I could absolutely fuck up a plate of mac and cheese right now. <laughs> All right, before it gets too dark, I'm gonna have Silas finish up in the garden, and I'm actually going to have Faye work on some cross stitch. Let's do a medium hoop rainbow. Not her sitting in the rocking chair to cross stitch. Oh my gosh. I've never had a sim really work on the cross stitch skill. I mean, I've had sims do it, but not to a point where they level up a lot in that skill. So I'm really excited to see what you can make with the cross stitch. Oh my gosh, be careful. <laughs> They do have just the automatic friendship and romance levels that they got from Cass when I made them husband and wife, and they are meant to be like best friends, almost the same person, so I do want to get their friendship up a lot. Oh, and Faye is autonomously complimenting Silas's appearance. I love when Sims autonomously just do cute interactions especially romantic ones i think it's so cute i just realized how late it is so i am gonna have them go to bed and silas is way ahead of me he's like i'm exhausted so it is now monday and we are going to have their normal morning routine of taking care of the animals and the garden and any laundry that they need to do things like that and besides that i think i want them to invite over some of the new friends that they made specifically liam and leora i think that they'll be really good friends with them so like i said before they do have a bigger family but we don't know them yet and i think that it would just be overwhelming to have all of them in their small house so I'm just gonna invite over Liam and Leora for some lunch we'll have Silas cook something yummy and invite them over okay I am so sorry if you guys get sick of me zooming in on the bed cuddle mod but like <laughs> how can I not like truly how can I not that is so adorable oh my gosh like the way he's holding her head oh okay I'm done I'm sorry <laughs> Poor Faye is going through it. She is now dizzy from being on her period. She like cannot catch a break. Oh my God, we do have <laughs> eggs and toast in the fridge, but Silas has decided to eat mac and cheese for breakfast. And honestly, I, I can't even blame him. I was gonna say something, but I would do the same thing, so. <laughs> You're good, Silas. You're good. All right, let's see what we got going on in the garden. There are definitely a lot of bugs, which is annoying, but let's see what we have in the new crops. Oh my gosh, we already have mushrooms and carrots all grown, quite literally overnight. That is insane. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. So we can... Let's just go ahead and sell all of these and start making money from our crops like we're supposed to that is so so exciting oh my gosh i kind of forgot how much you have to do to keep up with a farm oh my god and she's instantly dirty <laughs> are you kidding maggie girl are you okay the poor thing I know, you're telling me. 
<laughs> I know I already pointed this out, but Silas whistling while he does work in his garden just kills me. I just think it's like the cutest thing ever. <gasps> oh my gosh, we have a hatchable egg. <gasps> We're gonna get a little chick already. Oh, I'm so excited. I love the chicks. Y'all, this is a Maggie Stan account. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's it. <laughs> oh my god. All right, and the egg is incubating. That is so exciting. Hey, Faye, I've been thinking about getting to know Hector Laurent better as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? Um, I don't think Faye even knows who that is. So I'm just going to say maybe because I literally don't know. In two days, we are going to have a little baby chick. I'm so excited for that. Faye has a moodlet that says warm fuzzies. Faye's enthusiasm for animals couldn't be contained anymore. More hugs. Ah! Yes, give Maggie all the hugs, please. Of course, part of this aspiration is to win at least two town fair contests and they happen every Saturday. So it looks like the first one coming up is a chicken competition and an egg competition. So if we hatch a really good egg, <laughs> whatever that means then we do need to save it for saturday and chicken competition interesting so we will need to pick our favorite chicken for this fair to enter in the competition and when it gets closer to this time maybe next episode or possibly the episode after that um, I'm gonna have you guys pick in the comments which chicken we should enter in that competition. I'm definitely excited for the cow competition. <laughs> Y'all, if Maggie doesn't win gold in the cow competition, I it's rigged. I'm just putting it out there, it is rigged. <laughs> There's just no way my girl Maggie is not winning. <laughs> I'm like low-key regretting putting the wash tub and clothesline on their lot just because I don't 100% know if I want to keep up with hand washing laundry, but if it gets too annoying, I'm just going to delete their laundry basket in their room. Roger, what's up my dude? Give Roger... Go ahead and pet Roger. And then you have to pee. Why does Silas always have to pee? Oh my gosh. Let's have him go to the bathroom and also take a bath. And then we are going to invite over our new friends. Okay, I think I'm gonna have Faye make some Yorkshire pudding for their guests that they're gonna have. I don't think I've ever had Yorkshire pudding, but I really want to, it sounds really good. I've definitely seen them talk about it on <laughs> The Great British Baking Show because I am so obsessed with that show. I am going to invite over Liam and Leora. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot that she is pregnant. Whoops, the, dag -dag. the handshake, I can't. And the girls are outside. Oh, Actually, that's kind of a good idea. I think I'm gonna put the food that Faye made out on the picnic table so they can have it out there. All right, everyone is coming over and this is so nice. It is so pretty out today. The weather is beautiful. Bronze mil shaba. Let's actually ask how many kids they have because I don't really remember. Oh my gosh! Faye and Leora already got a sentiment together. Oh, they have four children. Okay. So Leora actually got a sentiment about Faye that says closer from happy memories. And it says Leora feels close to Faye from good times and happy memories. I mean, I guess, you know, a nice lunch together, but that's actually kind of sweet that they're like just hanging out for the first time and they got a sentiment. And since they have a sentiment together now, I'm actually going to ask to feel Leora's belly. I felt like yesterday when they first met was a little too soon, but I don't know, they already have a sentiment together, so I don't feel like it's that weird. Vitessa Yishirao? Polkan? Oh. 
Ujimi Geza. Oh, it's a div. Uh, I love that animation so much. I just think it's so sweet. Tokibu. Oh. So cute. Looks like Liam has to get going. And so does Leora. So that was actually really nice. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> They're so in love. Uh, my heart. Should we even try for a baby i know it's so soon it's the first episode they are both family oriented and i feel like they would want to start a family as soon as possible so i'm actually going to have Faye take a fertility test because i believe yeah she's on her period so i don't think that she could get pregnant right now but we're just gonna check anyways <laughs> just in case yeah so she has a zero percent chance of becoming pregnant right now okay no so her most fertile day is in six to seven days so in about a week they can try but honestly that's probably for the best <laughs> since we're just starting the challenge but uh i just want them to have kids so badly i guess for now the only <laughs> kid that they're gonna have is this little chick and i'm actually really excited to name the chick like i said before if you guys have any name suggestions for what you want this little chick to be named go ahead and drop those in the comments below and i will pick my favorite one for next episode when this egg hatches and with that being said i think i'm going to leave off this episode right here i really really hope you guys enjoyed this episode i am so excited to explore more of their story throughout this generation and I just love these sims so, so much. So I hope you guys do as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you will get notified when episode two comes out. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I am so happy to finally be posting gameplay content on my YouTube. And of course, this being the first gameplay episode ever <laughs> that I've ever made. I hope you guys liked it, but of course it will only get better from here. So that being said, I will see you guys in the next one and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye loves.